What is up guys, Rampana1 here and welcome to another Xbox 720 vs PlayStation 4 video. In this video we are talking about backwards compatibility. Before I get into today's topic, today's gameplay is a it's, it's a little bit of a domination gameplay, it's a little bit by not the full game. And I believe I'm just using a pistol, I've been using a lot of the Black Ops 2 pistols lately. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I did do a full procedure in Black Ops 1 using just the pistols. And I'd wish I did it this time around, but I didn't. But I am having a lot of fun with the pistols right now. They're actually pretty good weapons in this game. So that's the gameplay for you. Uh, so like I said, today we are talking about Xbox 720 versus PS4 again, and more so towards backwards compatibility. So what do we what do we know so far? Well, we have had confirmation and official word from PlayStation 4 that the PlayStation or from Sony, I should say, that the PlayStation 4 will not be offering backwards compatibility with PlayStation 3 discs and PlayStation 2, PlayStation 1, so on and so forth. Now, we haven't had we haven't had much information from the Xbox 720 yet, but it's it's not completely shut down that it will not be able to play uh, other games. Now, I know the Xbox 360 was able to play some Xbox games offline, and I know certain versions of the PlayStation 4 was able to play uh, PlayStation 2 and PlayStation 1 games, and I believe you had to be offline for those as well but do I think backwards compatibility is a is something that's needed is it something that needs to be there is it gonna make or break a console if that's there I mean if the Xbox has it and the PlayStation 4 doesn't have it does that mean the Xbox is gonna do a hell of a lot better I don't think so another reason I don't think so is for reasons such as if you have an Xbox 720 then you're not going out to buy an Xbox 360 game. If you have Xbox 360 games that you want to play, then you're going to have an Xbox 360 around the house. Okay, maybe it's not hooked up. But if you really wanted to play those games, you would just hook up that Xbox 360 console, you play them and you just uh you go about your day. I don't I don't know why backwards compatibility. Although it'd be nice. I, I don't get me wrong. I'm not saying why why you guys complain and why you guys want this and she like that because it is convenient I mean my PlayStation 3 I did buy that certain make of PS3 because I was able to play PS2 games on it because I don't have a PS2 anymore so it's a bit hypocritical what I just said like you'll have a console running around and you've got the games but I had some games the PS2 unfortunately broke so I couldn't play the games but I was able to play them on the PS3 and there were some old games that I like to play on the PS2 and like I said I was able to do it on the PS3 but I don't feel it as if it was something needed if my PS3, or oh, I didn't have the option to get a backwards compatibility one, that wouldn't affect it of what I bought. I mean, if I had the option between the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox 720, and the PlayStation 4 had backwards compatibility, and the Xbox didn't, then I would probably just get the Xbox, because that's where my friends and shit are. I don't think that the backwards compatibility thing is going to be a huge selling difference for uh, platforms, because it's mainly what where your friends are and some features do come into it of course they do come into it if something i mean like if the xbox is um is going to be always online uh which is rumored to be and the playstation 4 isn't then uh, i think that will have a big effect on the sales because there are purely offline gamers and they're not going to want the xbox 720 if you always need to be online for it you know so i think things like that are going to affect the sales but things like backwards compatibility on the consoles I don't think that's going to have an effect on sales, so um, I don't think they're worrying about that. And I, it's, I wonder, I just wonder, is the Xbox 720 going to have backwards compatibility that the PlayStation 4 doesn't? It's, uh, it's still a mystery right now. I'm going to revisit stuff when news does drop for the Xbox 720, but uh, as of right now, no official word that it is or isn't going to have backwards compatibility. And if it doesn't, I, I don't really care. I mean... I got an Xbox 360 to play my old Xbox 360 games on. If it breaks, uh, I've got an Xbox 720. I'm going to be playing new games on it, you know. So, yeah, that's where I sort of stand on the on the situation. But anyway, guys, I want to know where you stand on this situation. Is backwards compatibility a huge thing to you? Is it a selling point for you? Are you going to be really pissed off if you don't have that backwards compatibility on your PlayStation 4 or your Xbox 720? Let me know in the comment section down below. 
Also, if you enjoyed the video, remember to give it a like right now. And if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with my other videos. Again, guys, this is Ryan Panel 1. And I thank you for watching. Peace.